So, what's up, everybody? We are in the house with the newest Oregon Duck commit, Dante Dowdell. How you doing, Dante? Doing good, doing good. Hey, that's what's up. Yo, so Dante, if you guys didn't know, absolute powerhouse of a running back. If you guys didn't see the full video where I broke down his highlight tape, I think that this dude's a baby Adrian Peterson. Like, his whole running style, dude, dude, is, dude is him. 2,500 rushing yards and 28 touchdowns as a junior. Come on, man. Going absolutely crazy. So before we jump into the whole Oregon thing and the whole all the recruiting, just kind of explain like where your football journey began. You know, like where'd you where'd you start and just kind of go from there? I started playing at about eight years old. Uh, first year playing football, I didn't really know what to do. I mean, I'm a cousin of friends already was playing football. So mm -hmm. it was like, you know, you dig a strong and everybody just go play, yeah. you know. So I started playing and uh, I seen a Marshawn Lynch highlight and I was like, yeah. coach, I want to play running back. And that's what it took off from there. So I started playing running back ever since then. That's what's up. And when did when did you start really like first off, when did you really start like training for football? And then when did you really start realizing like football is actually kind of something that like I wanna actually do? Well, up until well, you know, Pee Wee, you really just playing. You know, you yeah. just playing for a while. But junior high, you know, that's really when I start, you know, really taking it super serious, you know, training and everything. Yeah. yeah, right. You know, and I'm, you know, a small town in Mississippi, a lot of people don't get looked at. So we had to do a lot of pushing the film out, you know, go to different camps and stuff to get seen. But once they seen it, they seen it, you know. So yeah. now everybody on deck and they can't deny the talent, you know. Yeah, that's what's up. All right. So let's let's get into why most people are going to be watching this the newest oregon duck commit so first and foremost how is the rb from mississippi what what did oregon what did oregon do to sell you from being from mississippi well you know uh everybody thought everybody thought i was going to old miss you know it was down to about it was down to about four four or five schools it was it was old miss oregon tennessee Arkansas and if Alabama would have offered me, I would have been in there. They looked at me, but I, you know, being the biggest school as they is, they still might try to push for you know, yeah. still might try to push to get you. So came out of schools, and I really like the, uh, I really like the old Miss too. You know, they had Lane Kiffin. You know, he coached at Bama. Yeah. Coached my favorite. He coached my favorite player, Derrick Henry. You know, when they won a national championship, he won a Heisman. Mm -hmm. You know, a great play caller. But I just felt like I felt like Oregon was the place. I really like their running back coach. He a real good dude, and I, I think he really going to uh, turn me into an NFL player. He didn't date with a couple guys. He didn't have three NFL running backs in the same backfield at the same time. Yep. And he a real good he a real good dude, you know. That's what's up. What were, what were some of the things that they were saying? Like, what, is, what did Oregon say that they were looking for you to be? Like, what type of running back are they looking for you to be once you get there? Well, being, being the type of back I am, you know, I'm a bigger back, you know, so everybody wants SEC, SEC. But, you know, uh, he, you know, he said, you come to the Pac-12, these dudes are going to be scared of you over here. You know what I'm saying? Nice. And I was like, you know, I mean, it really didn't matter. You know, I play in the SEC, Pac-12, Big Ten, it don't matter what. You know, it's wherever the best school was. So he just said, you know, you can be the face of the school. You know, you can be a type of back they never had here before. You know, they never really had a back. They had Dan the Thomas or Michael James. You know, they never really had no, you know, just, you know, back like me. So I wanted to be different, you know. Yeah. Everybody think, you know, you don't have, everybody think this because you're down south, you got to stay down south. But I wanted to, you out of Mississippi be different. Hopefully lead Oregon to their first national championship. They've been twice. They never really got it one. So hey, trying to get it, trying to get it for them. Yeah, that that's actually what I said in, in the film breakdown. I was like, yo, Oregon, normally when you look when you think of like an Oregon running back, it's like some 5'10, 180 yeah, pound yeah. running back running like 4'4, four, four, some like real shifty dude. But what like We'll, we'll, we'll break down his highlight tape in a little bit, and we'll also you can go watch the full highlight tape. This dude is a freight train out here, dropping the shoulder yeah. pads, just straight running <laughs> through people's faces out here. Like, yeah. And or, I also think Oregon's kind of switching up their identity. I mean, Oregon in the past used to be known as, like, offense, we're scoring, scoring, scoring. But now they're kind of known more for their defense and having more of, like, a well-rounded team. So I yeah. think picking up a guy like you is absolutely perfect. And you can... You kind of touched on it a little bit. So you said, so you said Tennessee, Ole Miss, and Arkansas were the other three schools that that yeah. you were had in your uh, top four. Yeah, yeah. So but what was, what what was like the, what was the one thing? Obviously, Oregon got the drip. I, I, obviously, Oregon got yeah. a little, little bit of yeah. drip. But like, <laughs> what, what was a, uh, 
Was it just wanting to be a little bit different and get out of the get out of the South that made you want to go to Oregon? Well, you know, it was a it was a combination of different things. You know, see, I could be the face of the school, do something different nobody ever did before. I could be a true freshman tailback. Yeah. You know, a true freshman tailback. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, I go there, I got a chance to win a Heisman. You know, you get drafted high. You seen Kayvon Thibodeau still picking the draft. Yeah. You know, so he got picked higher than a lot of SEC guys. So. Yeah, people say you have to go to this school and that school to get picked up and stuff. But, and then, you know, it was good people. You know, I probably could have had, probably could have started all the uh, other schools too. But, you know, Ole Miss, I, I would have got some playing time, but I think I could be more of a true freshman at Oregon. You know, yeah. so it was down to two schools. And I really don't even look at distance too much. You know what I'm saying? Because either way, you got you got to drive far, you got to fly. So it don't matter. It really yeah. don't matter. So. And I've I've been I've been to Oregon, yo. Yeah. Oregon, you you know, Oregon is beautiful. Yeah. All the trees yeah. and stuff. Oregon's yeah. great. All right, so you guys went 14 and one last season and won the state championship. First off, how how did that how did that feel for you to wrap up your junior year, have the great season that you had, win win the win the national or win your state championship? Just kind of go through what what last season was looking like. It felt good, man. It was a combination of, you know, a team effort. You know, uh, offense, we always made sure we finished drives. Defense was always flying to the ball. It always worked out. You know, no matter if we was down or whatever, we always found a, found a way to win. You know, even that one loss we had, it just motivated us more to, you know, keep going and not lose a game after that. Okay. State championship, we won, like, we beat them, like, 40, 41 to 20 or something. Yeah. So, yeah, we had – we had beat them, and uh, we beat them by like you know, we beat them by like twenty more points than they had. So yeah, I, I saw it. you guys. Doubting. You guys kind of walked through the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, everybody was doubting us before the season. It was doubting us during the season because the same team we beat in state championship, we lost to two years ago. Mm -hmm. And you, actually, we had another running back. You actually did a video on him, Cameron Thomas. Yeah, he was the nation, the nation's leading rusher. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We had lost the championship that year, so I was like, "Man, I get my opportunity. We gonna win it." You know. So. Yeah. You know, always. You know, we had to go do what we had to do. You know, I got the MVP of that game, and now we gotta go back and do it next year again. Be the first first team from my school to do it back to back. Yeah, that that's what's up. So speaking of going back to back, what are some of the what are the some of the things that you've been working on just for yourself as far as training wise to prepare yourself for this next season? Well, you know, uh, we're a running team, so you got to stay conditioned. You know, you got to stay conditioned. But I think Coach will try to throw a few throw a few passes just to put that on a highlight tape, you know. So yeah. I'm working on passing and uh, catching the ball, right running stuff. Still don't even ask to do it in my offense. And I know I got to do it to the next level. Yep. Oregon Coach is uh, sending me some stuff about pass protection and different things. So, yeah, I'm looking, you know, get more conditioned. I'm trying to go for 3,000, maybe 4,000. Oh, you know? hey. 4, go, 4K would be nice. Go get in your bag real quick. Go get hey. go, You got to go do it to him. Hey, 4K would be nice, you know. So, you got to be real conditioned to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, Most can't be out there getting fatigued. You got to run every play full speed. So, Yo. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, well. Speak, speaking of 4K, we we gonna we gonna jump in real quick. It's, we we've been talking a lot, but let me let me show you what this man actually be doing on the field real quick. All right, so so first off, I I, I got I, I got a couple plays set aside. Yo, this dude running through. So let me let me let me just show y'all the first play. Go gets the ball, hits the hole, runs through his face. Just just straight as ran the ran through him. So yeah, yeah. For, first and foremost, what, 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 any any time that you're any time that you're in in the hole, and any time that you're you know you, you you're going head to head with the linebacker, what what's your first instinct? Like right about right about here, you you have you have a couple of choices that you can make. You could try and bounce this outside. I yeah. mean, you, you got your boy right here, or like like what's going through your mind right here? Like split yeah. decision moment. I always go vertical. I always get vertical. Try to run them over, you know. Saying you run somebody over enough times, they don't want to get ran over no more. So, yep. yeah, I, 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 I like that. I'm pounding them, I'm pounding them all game, and when he when he seen me come to him, his eyes got big, and it was over with for him. Yup, <laughs> I was about to, yo, we 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 got a couple more plays like that, but hey, let let hey let, let let's let's get to the next play because yo, you were you were out here just hey, oh, definitely yeah. one of the more entertaining highlights I, I've I've seen for sure. All right, oh, so. It's that stiff one. 
Yo, uh, get them up off, uh, get them up yeah. off me, just yeah. uh, like that. That's the number one thing that I think is so impressive with your game is like you are a very well-rounded power back. Like normally most power backs, like they just try and always run through everybody, but you you have that ability to keep on bouncing it to the outside, hit them with yeah. that stiff arm. I mean, no, just no and no, hit hit them both easy. Yeah. And who 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 what who is this game against? Uh it's, it's a go shake. Go shake. Yeah, oh, yeah. This, this this play, this this is when I knew you were valid, bro. Cause watch this. Run runs through first dude, runs through the second dude, keeps the feet churning, like you said, always getting vertical. This is this is crazy impressive. Like oh, yeah. you you go right here. I've I've seen I've seen you run through run through the first tackler consistently. I I, I the whole highlight tape I did not see the first person bring you down. But for you nah. to go stand still and immediately run through that second dude, that's on point. Oh yeah, most definitely. So when 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 you when you in situations like this where you just gotta just get big, you just you just gotta get as many yards as you can. What what are you thinking? Like keeping your knees high, just yeah, I think. They get yards, hold on to the football, you know, pick your knees up, you know, so. Yep. You run hard, pick your knees up, hold on to the football, you can't go wrong. Yup. The main thing you got to worry about when you going through wrong tackles is to hold on to the ball, you know, yeah. so. Can't let nobody strip that ball out. Did you have any fumbles last season? Uh, I think I might have had like, I don't know, I think I might have had like one of them or so. It was, you know, when you're running hard sometimes. Yeah, hey, hey, I'm, 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 I'm just saying that just so we can keep it real with everybody. I mean, yeah, shoot, if, yeah, yeah. You give me three thousand yards, you can fumble a couple times. I ain't gonna be mad at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, just throw them off. For, I mean, to start it off with, this, this is where I, I, I see your game is, is flawless. Like, I, I would like to see the, the long speed, just like being able to yeah. hit that six gear, but yeah. You got the Oregon track team right there. You you could be running with them during the off season. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. this little shift right here, immediately, first step, boom, cuts up field. Yeah. Spin off that, throw them off. Yeah. Like that, this level of running is great for the next level. Like yeah. Again, like I said, when when you normally think of Oregon, you're thinking of like all these shifty guys, you know. But like. That ain't gonna get it done. The DNs are nah. gonna be just as fast as those running backs at the next level. So for you to just be able to run through people, yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> this this last play, yo, you didn't have to do whole boy like this. <laughs> you you know this play? Ah uh, yeah yeah, I've seen I've seen. <laughs> Bro, homie really thought he was gonna do some. <laughs> he really oh, thought man. he was gonna do some, and you. Oh no, nah, he, he was done. He was like, Mama, I'm gonna make a play. I'm, I'm gonna make a play. Bink ran straight through him. Oh yeah, I gave him the elbow. I gave him the elbow. Man. Yup. And then it, he, he got so lucky right there. That dude got. Ah, he, that, yeah, he got lucky. <laughs> that dude got so lucky right there, bro. He got. He got. That's the shoelace of shoelaces. But oh, yeah. again, I mean that that ability to be able to break that first tackle consistently, whether whether a safety's coming down strong like that, whether it's making a linebacker missing the hole, bro, like. That is your game right there. So that's what my guy Dante is looking like on the field. All my Oregon Duck fans, y'all should y'all should be hype right now because Eugene, Eugene, you about to be seeing that. You about to be seeing that on the on the Oregon football field for real. Oh yeah, most definitely. Real real quick, we gonna we gonna be wrapping this up. So first and foremost, for all the Oregon fans that are watching out there, what type of running back can the Oregon fans be expecting to see from 2023 moving forward? Hey, they get something they never had before, you know. Yeah. Power, speed, vision, you know, that's what we're coming with. So, yep. hey, we're going to run hard, give them something they never had before, hopefully lead them to the first national championship. Maybe these Oregon, Oregon fans are proud. You know, they probably would have thought it would have been the West Coast boy to do it, but yeah. they getting a kid from down south, and they're going to realize the down south kids can do. Yep. You know, so hopefully this is a paved way to show more down south kids that they can go different places, you know, so. Most definitely. Yeah, because normally you'd be seeing it, you see like the West Coast kids going to the South, but you don't really see yeah. a whole lot of the South kids going to the West nah. Coast. Yeah, I know it. You gonna be you gonna be trailblazing out there. You are gonna be getting some hey. Mississippi boys coming to Oregon. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey. I do a little recruiting or something, man. Hey, I like it. 
And and last but not least, the floor is yours. If you want to shout anybody out, you want to shout yourself out, the floor is yours. I don't know. I just, just like to shout out my teammates, you know. Uh, my guys blocking for me, defensive players. You know, we got some more upcoming guys, you know. Uh, Jamonte Wilder, Darnell Smith, Marion Tyson, Darrell. You know, we got a whole, whole bunch of uh, – Jabari McWilliams, Avion, Kobe. You know, yeah. I just wanted to say their names. Just yeah. hey, hype them up, hype them up. We got a lot of uh, upcoming guys that's gonna, you know, probably might actually get an opportunity to be on one of your videos someday. So, you know, just want to shout them out. You know, I really like want to pave the way and put a lot of other players on, you know, not even just my teammates, just people from Mississippi in general, you know. Yeah. So, feels good to be able to do stuff like that. Hey, that's what's up. So, that is Dante Dowdell, the latest Oregon Duck, and possibly the best running back in Mississippi. I, honestly, hey, hey, the best running back, the, the best running back in Mississippi. <laughs> hey, we we got baby Adrian Peterson out here. Hey, oh, yeah. Oregon oh, Duck yeah. fans, y'all y'all got one. Oh yeah. <laughs>